what would you say your core values are as a fashion designer? Absolutely. So um, it is number one, creating garments that are truly sustainable. This word sustainability gets thrown around every which way you Girl, go. You and, watching my last video? Oh, no, no, I didn't. I said the same oh, thing. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, I said the same actually thing. Actually, true. It yes, gets everybody thrown around. Around. Oh, I hate it. <laughs> Yeah, it gets thrown around, and especially, I, I understand, you know, the fashion industry is a cause of a lot of pollution. Um, but that that's partly due to our buying habits. We tend to buy a lot oh, yes. of people. And social media. Social media, like all these hauls that are going on. These people have way too much money to be spending on clothes. Like, spend your money, like, give some money to charity. Like, let, let's get serious. <laughs> but my approach to sustainability is actually making garments that will last you longer than a lifetime. These are clothing that will you can pass down. These are potential heirlooms. They're clothing that are seasonless and mm -hmm. timeless. These are clothes like some of my garments, you, you won't even be able, like if you didn't know that I just made them today, you wouldn't even necessarily be able to pinpoint the decade right. that it's from. That's my approach. I make clothing for women who are, you know, on the younger side, mm -hmm. closer to our age, all the way up to 65. I, I, and that's even my approach to inclusivity, not just, oh, racial and all these like buzzwords that get right. thrown around. Like we're all people, every race of people should automatically be included. You don't mm -hmm. have to like, like go that extra bit. To me, it's right. kind of like token giving, yeah. but I actually promote my garments with, to women like, who are even older i just i last year i did a campaign and i had a woman who was fully gray fully gray yes. hair beautiful gorgeous woman because that's to me inclusivity women who are older get left out all the oh, time, all the time. Mm -hmm. and if you think about it by god's grace one day we're going to be older too so mm -hmm. I don't want to be left out. So I'm not going to leave those women out, right? But in regards to sustainability, like, I also make clothing that um, you, no, I already said that. But yeah, <laughs> it's going to last you a long time. <laughs> I just be going on tangents because sometimes I be talking too much. But <laughs> the point is, is that the clothing will last you a long time. Mm -hmm. And they're well made. They're made with the highest quality um, materials, all handmade stuff mm -hmm. made here mm -hmm. in canada and at, like so much attention and detail goes into each and every garment mm -hmm. because what i believe is that i am not only selling clothing i am selling a piece of myself yes. i'm selling a piece of myself in every single garment it's like a little bit of me a little bit of my soul mm -hmm. goes along with it so it has to be the best that i can make it be right so yeah because yeah everyone throws in sustainability let's save yeah. the urge and i'm just like well girl what does it mean and then they kind of exactly. get choked up and i'm just like you're just an echo chamber just that's echoing right. whatever you see online or with someone someone else say you don't even have your own definition but some people do but it's just a lot of echo chambers and i'm like very Ciao. true <laughs> it gets old it gets tired because it doesn't it doesn't really mean anything anymore it's just something to like put that it's a down. keyword it's a yeah. keyword so that they can be searched online yeah i think so i think mm -hmm. so yeah that's the name of the game nowadays i don't even get mad when people kind of like ask my ask me questions or like pick my brain because they're like everyone says this same thing and yeah. it's very refreshing to hear someone say or explain it other uh, other people just don't like explain they just kind of just dance around but not answer it well you so you know what too like all of the things that i'm doing these are not things that i just like woke up one day and like decided to do this whole like everything with my business and my brand these are well-baked, if you will, well-baked ideas, well-baked philosophies. All of our principles and our like goals or our um, core values, mm -hmm. these are things that mean something to me as a person. Right. So like I said, that even every garment, there's a little piece of me that goes with it. All of my values as a person also go with 
each garment so each one has to be made the best be truly sustainable it's going to last you a long time you wash you can wash it as many times as you like it's not going to you know wear and tear on you you know with all obviously with proper care it's not going to be something where in two years it's completely out of style mm -hmm. you can't wear this anymore if you wear it you know it you look dated you know like all the um like millennial like memes like the girls with like the right. circle scarves and things like those are very dated items yeah. but yeah you know, my approach is to make things that are actually timeless and classic mm -hmm. because classic is never going anywhere